All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, child Psychology, module number 21, Health and Nutrition in Child's Development, is going to be our module to be discussed um, in this uh, course. Um, now, we have again five objectives to look at. We will see in this presentation how parents and caregivers can support healthy uh, nutrition. We will look at what nutrition is. We will look at what the research says about and how it supports the nutrition in childhood development. We will also look at the negative and the positive uh, effects of nutrition and why proper nutrition is important. So let's get into that. Again, my name is Nadeem Sikander and the email is dr.nsikander at gmail.com. Um, so the relationship between cognitive health and nutrition is a strong one. Parents and caregivers, to, um, it's important for them to understand this connection. Now, as we have seen thus far, the cognitive development is the way the brain um, actually thinks and learn information. The three main factors that impact human cognitive development are genes, the environment, and the nutrition. Now, since there are so many factors that go into cognitive development, it is unrealistic to believe that if a person gets a certain type of food, he or she will get smarter. Then this module look at the overall uh, uh, picture of nutrition uh, and, and what they do, the, the nutritious food uh, that helps child in development and what parents and caregivers can do to improve um, this, um, uh, a way the children get the nutrition. Uh, so the research of nutrition and child development, the role of nutrition in child development is extremely important, as I mentioned in the previous slide. Nutrition during the early year of the life of the child is really linked with the quality of life they will have. Research studies that focuses on relationship between eating breakfast and and having to having the effective learning. Research also uh, supports that the link between good nutrition in the infant and toddler stage and positive cognitive development are uh, as they grow. A major finding from the research that links good nutrition and cognitive development. First of all, uh, brain effects. So research, research shows that the good nutrition food uh, during pregnancy is imperative as the brain begins to develop while the baby is still uh, in the womb. Uh, if a mother does not eat nutrition, a nutritious diet during pregnancy, it can result in a negative effect on the development of the brain of the child. It can even cause negative effect that are irreversible in some cases and permanent. Breastfeeding and IQ. Research shows that um, the children who are breastfed have more cognitive development and higher IQ. Uh, although the research is wide and well grounded, uh, caution needs to be given as there are many variables that can affect this such cultural as well as socioeconomic context. Um, additionally, uh, breastfed uh, children uh, can lead to less often, less severe causes of diarrhea, skin rashes, bacterial meningitis and other infections. Numerous studies uh, reported that breastfeeding is associated with a higher score uh, on the tests of neurodevelopment and cognition in later in life, suggesting that breast uh, uh, milk may impact early brain development with potentially important biological, medical, and social implications. This is by the uh, National Institute of, uh, uh, which is NIH of Health. Um, iron and uh, brain development. Iron is highly in, in necessary for the brain development tissues. And the research shows that the nerve impulses move much more slowly when, they, uh, when there is no, not enough iron in the brain. Uh, in the case of child, iron deficiency can cause permanent brain damage. However, there's also uh, an issue of too much iron in the brain. Both can have um, causes issues with child uh, behavior and psychomotor development. 
parents uh, must ensure that the child is getting appropriate amount of iron in their diet. Uh, iodine uh, deficiency. Iodine is another important nutrition, the nutrients that child need. Research shows that iodine, uh, iodine is deficiency in a child's earlier years causes reduced cognition and lower achievement when the child enters school. Poor nutrition and illness. Research shows that, uh, and it also supports that, the fact that children who do not get the right nutri nutrients in their diet have more difficulty find, fighting infections uh, when compared to other peers. Now, this means that they are sick uh, more often, miss more school, and have difficulty keeping up with the classroom. Now, undernutrition in children. Uh, children who do not get enough nutrition often show decreased activity levels, curiosity, social interaction, and cognitive functioning. Breakfast and school. In studies, children who ate nutritious breakfast performed better on tests than those who do not eat breakfast or ate a poor breakfast. So, you know, we often ask parents when we are running a test and whatnot to make sure that the child slept well and had a good breakfast before coming to school. Um, what is nutrition? So nutrition is everything that a person consumes and some of the food and drink that we choose it to in ingest are better for us than others. So our bodies use the nutrients from the food in order to stay healthy. Now, these include protein, carbohydrates, vitamins, fats, and minerals. When, when eaten in the correct amount, these nutrients, nutrients give a child the energy and they learn and grow and move better. Uh, it is important for parents and caregivers to be aware of how much energy is in the food that a child consumes. Um, a child needs um, a certain amount of energy to develop and grow, but if they can be too much, the body will store that energy as fat. Uh, one fact to, to note is that the role of nutrition in human development begins when the child is still in the womb. If a, if a pregnant mother does not uh, practices or adapt, adapt to healthy eating behavior, it is possible that it can be, it can have negative effect on the development of the child's brain once the child is born. Why is poor nutrition so important? Well, needless to say, we just mentioned in the previous slides, if a child gets poor nutrition, they will likely to develop poor, uh, they will develop healthy health problems such as obesity. Some of the health issues associated with the obesity are quite serious, uh, especially when a child develops into uh, an adult. Um, parents and caregivers should teach their children healthy eating habits from the start, and these can help to prevent serious health problems from developing. Um, additionally, it is much easier for, for, for people to maintain a weight what is healthy than to lose weight. Uh, children who have healthy weight are more likely to be a, a healthy weight as an adult. So if you start um, as a healthy child and, and know how much you weigh and what you have been consuming, uh, it's more likely you will, be, uh, you will turn into a healthier adult. The effects of obesity in children. Now, some of the examples are, are, are mentioned below are the negative effects that might occur in obese children. For example, diabetes and, and heart disease, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, asthma, sleep apnea, depression, types of cancer, uh, self-esteem issue, bullying, uh, difficulty with learning, difficulty with interacting with other people, and feeling of isolation. That's just some of the effects of, you know, facing the obesity. Some of the effects of good nutrition in children also uh, mental well-being, strong muscles and bones, healthy weight, 
ability to concentrate uh, in learning, good energy, faster wound healing, ability to fight off disease and illness, easier recovery from an injury or illness, and decreased risk of stroke, heart disease, cancer, diabetes. Because if your body is healthy, it is more likely to fight any type of problem. Uh, it's a better defense system. Helping a child making healthy food choices by teaching a child uh, about nutrition, encouraging them to follow healthy eating habits. Uh, parents will be given uh, their children important tools that they can use for their lifetime. Offer healthy food at home. Uh, it is important to have a number of healthy food options available at home and parents should have a variety of healthy choices. Persistence is important. Obviously, the children are not going to just buy overnight the whole idea, but if you teach them from the get-go what what they eat affect them in the long run, uh, I think there is a there's a possibility for them accepting. Um, some ways that a parent can support good nutrition include offering several food options, you know, each day that are healthy. Um, fresh food, vegetables uh, should be, instead of giving them syrups and high, uh, um, you know, uh, sugar food, um, offer healthy protein sources such as egg, fish, nuts, um, lean meat, and chicken or turkey. Offer whole grain bread uh, and cereal, uh, grill steam, uh, broiled food instead of frying oil food, offer low fat diet, uh, dairy products such as cheese and milk, um, and uh, encourage the children to drink milk uh, water instead of artificial drinks. Uh, and also, you want to keep in mind, limit uh, the takeaways uh, in junk food. So uh, avoid, we can't get rid of it, but we can avoid bringing food from outside of the takeaway and also you want to limit all sorts of junk food there should be a perhaps a good budget um, the, the the least amount of focus should be bringing in the junk food as children go to grocery stores or supermarkets and they begin to pick up all sorts of food that they end up consuming it uh, please also read the food labels that's also important there's a lot of information in the back of each item uh, and, and last but not least be a good role model when you are consuming so if you have healthier habits most likely your children will develop those as well uh, proper nutrition is the key to development in the children uh, but physical activity is equally important the importance of physical activity is obviously uh, is the key children's access to computer television mobile phones and devices should be limited to no more than uh, two hours each day i think that's something the parents have to establish at home uh, and like i said earlier it's not easy but once you set rules and you reinforce them and remind them and educate them and their pros and cons and their harms and their benefits and all that, uh, you know, I think there is there's a lot more we can do than we attempt to do. Um, in conclusion, folks, uh, healthy and uh, health and nutrition plays a very significant role uh, in the development of the child. Uh, whether you are looking at a physical, cognitive, or mental development, the nutrition a child gets can have either a positive or negative effect on the development. And nutritious food and exercise will help to create healthy, happy, and intelligent child. But poor, on the other end, uh, can uh, poor food can uh, or a stagnant lifestyle can have the exact opposite effect. So this concludes our module number 21. We will have one more module left to discuss, and that would conclude our child psychology entire course. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a wonderful and blessed rest of the day.